Today I'll be presenting my English and History Fuel. My first fuel that I'll be presenting is my English Fuel. Good morning, my name is Layla McCain. I attend Da Vinci Design as a sophomore. During the first semester of English 10, we were assigned to read a Fahrenheit 51, a book about a futuristic dystopian society. Character analysis. From the book, we were supposed to choose a character to analyze, and I chose the character Clarice McCullough. She's viewed as a crazy 16-year-old mature girl in Fahrenheit 451 dystopian society. She likes to understand people, pay attention to the little things, and is a nature lover. She is also the root of a dramatic shift in the main character by Montag's life by questioning his love and happiness. My evidence. Um, I like to watch people. Sometimes I ride the subway all day and look at them. I just want to figure out who they are and what they want and where they're going. This shows that Clarice McClellan is she likes to understand the show she likes to understand people and know what they're doing. You're out? No. You're not like the others. I've seen a few, I know. When I talk, you look at me. When I said something about the moon, you looked at the moon last night. <laughs> the others would never do that. This shows that she pays attention to the little things, like what Guy Montag did when she was talking to him. Um, she's a nature lover. Have you ever smelled old leaves? Do they, don't they smell like cinnamon? So this shows that she would actually go out and smell the roses, look at the leaves. You know. She likes to view the Okay. The dramatic shift is that the main character Guy Montag realizes that he doesn't he doesn't love anyone really because Clarice McClellan is showing more it's bringing life to him basically like his wife didn't she wasn't interesting and stuff. Like she was an empty vessel. How does Ellen show her character? What are most of the things that she does, but how does it show her character? It shows that she is. It shows that she, under, by understanding people, it shows that she's curious about other people. By pay attention, pay, paying attention to the little things, it shows that she wants to learn more about people. And Nature Lover, it shows that she's different from the rest of her dystopian societies. Why is it important that she's different? Why is it important that she's curious? Because unlike the rest of her society, she wants to she wants to find ways to enjoy life without staying in their rooms watching TV or adapting to the technological advances. So what is curious? What is curious? I mean, she's. She's curious about what other people are doing. No, no, what's the definition of curious? Um, wonder? Questioning? Okay, so how does she do those things? And how do other people not? Other people just adapt to the society and she doesn't do that. Montag is curious. When Montag meets Clarice, he becomes curious about these things too. In what favor? I'm not sure. Is he not curious? I don't think so. Does he read books? I didn't get that far in the book. Now I will be presenting my modern world history field. I 
slide shows essential skill three, which is evaluate the social and economic impacts of the Industrial Revolution, including the relationship with the age of imperialism. The Industrial Revolution had negative, and social, negative social and economic impacts on the industrialized countries during the mid-1700s. Socially, in poor treatment of factory workers, and economically, due to the abundance of structures overcrowding the cities. Some social impacts of the Industrial Revolution include women and children being treated, mistreated because they were considered less important and inferior in the working environment. They were underpaid also. Um, people from other countries start wanting to look for jobs because they were losing their farming jobs due to the technological advances. So since people were looking into industrialized countries, they were overpopulating these countries. Many deaths occurred due to the poor sanitation and crowding in the country. And factory workers treated their, were treated disrespectfully by the factory owners, mostly women and children, because they were, as I said before, viewed as inferior. Some economic impacts of the Industrial Revolution included farmers losing their jobs because they were replaced by more efficient technology. And they built more structures around the city because of the overpopulation in industrialized places. Oh, more quantity, less quality, and more money means that um, by building factories, they can make more of an item for more money. But since they're making more of these items in assembly lines, they wouldn't have as much quality. Um, the age of imperialism is related to the industrial revolution because imperialistic countries were highly industrialized and they needed natural resources. So what the stronger countries did was they went to weaker countries and they imperialized those countries, took their resources, and sold them back to the weaker countries. Why were these countries in need of natural resources? Because they were so industrialized that they didn't have enough resources to keep it going. Or they needed more resources. <laughs> Industrialism in the city, they got more money, so they used the money to build structures because of the overpopulation. The sentence is, after writing her book, Ann Tyler gave us an old and ugly base of appreciation for using our room. Oh. At first, um, I classified after as an adverb, so I 
pair together after writing her and her as an adverb phrase. I classified book as a noun and I made it a noun phrase. I and Tyler is a proper noun, so I made it a noun phrase. I paired those two together. Gave us as a verb phrase because of gave is a verb. An old preposition phrase because of and. And is a conjunction, so I leave it by itself. Ugly vase. Ugly is an adjective, so I paired it with vase and made it an adjective phrase. As appreciation for using our room. I paired as appreciation and for as a prepositional phrase because of as and for. And using our room as a noun phrase because of are. I wasn't thinking clearly, so I should have made it a conjunction. What should it be? Conjunction. And, and. Oh, I'm not sure. More than the other ones are. It's describing how many books there were. I mean, how many vases there are. Alright, so if it's describing the number of vases, what should the part of speech be? An adjective. So, in phrases, we connect words to make sentence parts. So, when you're talking in an old, is that all you're trying to say? So, you should connect all those together. So I need to connect those all together. So I'm going to put the slides between these and this. Because I was making this sentence shorter, I can say it in the same way. And if you want to make the sentence shorter, we'll talk to each other. You know, I put one of your wrist boards in there, you can do it. For my DBQ, I actually made a mistake. I forgot what the social contract was, so I read wrote it here. I rewrote some information on a separate sheet of paper. Did you have to look up the social contract? Yeah. Okay. I'm more interested in then how you did the social contract. Um, the first time I thought the social contract had to do with life, liberty, and property, and I thought it stated that. Mm -hmm. So I put in John Locke's social contract, he fought for life, liberty, and property. This is influenced the declaration. This influenced the declaration of independence, of independence, in ways to not only give all men equal rights, but only to, but to have those rights taken away by any higher power. The Declaration of Independence states that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Okay, so in your analysis, do you also have a quote? Um, I do have a quote. I put that whenever any forms of any form of government becomes destructive of this of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, institute a new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizations of its powers, in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Okay, so I'm talking about Where is your analysis? Uh, this influenced the Declaration of Independence in ways to not only give men equal rights, but to have their rights taken away by the higher power. So your analysis is after your thesis? Yeah, 
I was just writing it down and I forgot that I needed to add evidence and I remembered at the end of it, so I just added the evidence to the end. Okay, can you really drop it out? No. Okay, so how does the hearing also try to connect to your thesis method? I had already chose my evidence, but I didn't write it down. So I put my analysis before it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to stop and